When you fight as if you are already dead, you are without restraint. You are a disruptor. You break all the rules. Because you have nothing to lose, you are desperate for resurrection. And you will do anything that is required to accomplish the goal you are setting out to achieve. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, because Bruce Lee said it best, a warrior is an average person with laser-like focus. A warrior is an average person with laser-like focus. Don't even worry about your ability. Don't you worry about opportunity. I need you to be a warrior right now and let your work get your opportunity. Let your work get your praise. Let your work open up doors. Let your work get people paying attention. Let your work get the whole world to notice. You gotta work. Stop thinking. Stop procrastinating. And you gotta work. I need you to rise up to fulfill your dreams. Rise up and attack your goals. There's no time to sleep. No time to nap. No time to waste. If you fall asleep, wake up and rise up again. You should work so hard that you collapse in the bed at night. Sometimes in the afternoon you're so weary from grinding that your body just collapses. That's okay. Have sweet sleep, but when you wake up, grind again. Now is your time. Now is your season. Now is the moment to capture the vision. To win any battle, you must fight as if you are already dead. You better go inside. You still looking outside for the stuff that's already inside. You still looking for someone to save you when you are pretty your superhero. You looking for some information from somebody when you already got what you need in your head. It's just time for you to get up and be the best version of you. You don't believe that you have the potential and the capability to be the best of yourself. So why? You just sit back and you wait for somebody to pat you on the shoulder and say it's okay? At least you gave it your best? Your best ain't good enough. Your best don't work. You need to go beyond your best. You need to go beyond the level. You need to let the world know that you exist. You need to let the world know that you made different. You built different. You're stronger. You're more passionate. You believe in yourself. When the rest of the world shuts you down, you woke up the next day and you said, I got this. I do this. I breathe this. I am this. You can't stop me. Here's what success is all about. You need these three things. Are you ready? You need skill set, mindset, and opportunity. You need to rise up and understand what success is all about. Skill set, work on your skill. Mindset, work on your mentality, baby, and your opportunity will come.
You need to keep going. Don't stop now. Instead, you take control of your life. Take control of it. Do something with it. Stop making excuses. This is what we're talking about. Getting it done and getting it done now. It's 4 a.m. and your alarm clock goes off. You're thinking, do I really need to get up? Maybe five more minutes. Let me just rest my eyes for five more minutes. But then you kick a leg out from under your blanket and the other leg follows. You feel that cold hit you like a shot of ice to your brain. A silent whisper crosses your mind. Why am I getting up? Should I go back to bed? I'm so tired from the day before. Why am I doing this to myself? Wake up, sleepyhead. It's time to get to work. It ain't gonna happen by itself. It's not gonna change by itself. But you got to be prepared to put in the work to get to that next level and go beyond. First, it was a whisper. Then the loudest scream you ever heard. Yelling at you to get up. Put both feet on the ground and rise. It is time to take on this glorious day. It's time to get it done. It's time for you to focus on the now. You got to get your priorities straight. Right now. Because those that are dedicated to success speak a language that excuses will never understand. Trying is not good enough. Trying is not going to get you there. We need application. We need dedication. We need motivation. We need discipline. Because that other person is still laying in the bed right now saying, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll do it later. I don't feel like it today. You better not let that be you. I know the feeling. No, this is not that fake lion, tigers, and bears motivation. This is that growing up in the slums. Watching your mom nod on the couch as you go to school. We want more. We want more out of this life. And if you're not willing to give that to us, we're going to take it. To have an underdog mentality. Like everybody's already counted you out. Like everybody's already told you, you don't have what it takes. You don't measure up. That what you started, you will not finish. Claw your way into your future. Fight for your goal. Give it everything you have because you have nothing to lose. Life's gonna hit you in your mouth and you gotta do me a huge favor. Your why has to be greater than that knocked out. And I love it, Buster Douglas got knocked out. Nobody ever got knocked out by Mike Tyson and ever got back up. It was almost a 10 count. I, he was stumbling. They were four, three, two, <laughs> one. And ding, 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 saved by the bell. He goes to his corner, the whole world is like, oh, that's it. Once he comes back out, that's it. Mike's gonna just hammer him. And exactly that, Mike Tyson came out like, I got him. I got this kid up against the rope. Listen to me, many of you right now, life's got you up against the rope. You can't give up, you can't give in. Listen to me, if it was easy, everybody would do it. And if life's got you backed up, I need you to do what Buster Douglas did. Buster Thank Douglas start fighting back. What an uppercut by Douglas, down goes Tyson. 
the world was shot. <gasps> Goliath has been knocked down. What happened? And they went to Buster Douglas and they asked Buster Douglas simply like, what happened? And Buster Douglas said, listen to me, it's real simple. Before my mother died, she told the whole world that I was going to be Mike Tyson. And two days before the fight, my mother died. Buster Douglas had, he had a decision to make. When his mother died, he could die with his mother, or he made a decision, I can wake up and I can live for miles. And he knocked Mike Tyson out simply because his why was greater than that punch. His why was greater than defeat. His why was greater than his trial and his tribulation. And I'm telling you, if you don't know what your why is, and your why isn't strong, you're going to get knocked out every single day. A man is not a man by his age. A man is a man by his experiences. What he goes through. What he fights through. That's what makes a warrior. That's what makes the greatest of all time. I will end my life in a bottomless pit. I'm going to rise and I'm going to show the world. The greatness is obtained by a man that never stopped pushing. At some point, you're gonna have to get sick of your own excuses and take action if you wanna change your situation. Wake the fuck up. You got this, homie, let's go. The only reason why you haven't achieved your goals is because you wanna allow yourself to believe that you can. Let's be real. Your work ethic will determine how fucking far you go in this life. Stop fucking doubting yourselves. Y'all keep coming up with these bullshit fucking excuses as to why you can't achieve your goals and get started, where in reality, if you just shut up and got to work, you'd already be where you wanted to be. Fitness is the start of everything. Like if you're not taking care of your body, you're not gonna get anywhere. And this is why I'm, I'm so gung-ho and like so ruthlessly intense with my message when it comes down to that. Like if you can't even go look in the fucking mirror and be happy about what you see, good luck starting anything. You see, my goal is to leave a legacy, to be remembered forever. And that is why I pride myself on the work ethic that I put into every single day. Not sometimes, every single day day that I am breathing, I am grinding to leave that legacy. Your first question is, what is this going to cost me? What is it going to cost you if you don't? Life is going to be hard. The things that you want to achieve might be a pain in the ass, but it is possible. And anybody who said that it wasn't in your past, I want you to stick that middle finger up right now because it's not going to get you anywhere. It's your dreams. So get out of your fucking head and start walking. Take action so you can achieve something. Look at all the success stories in the goddamn world. Take mine as inspiration for you. I went from an iron worker addicted to sense to a seven figure earner i grew up in a fucking trailer that was less than 800 square feet in the country to now living in a 5,000 square foot two million dollar home what the fuck is there not to understand here i didn't think that i would live past the age of 25. It was just like, I didn't have a purpose. It literally reached a point in my life where I would like get home, sit on the couch, and I had no one. And it reached a point where I was like, why the fuck am I here? Like, I don't want to be here anymore. I just didn't know what was going on. And I just realized that I was headed down a dark path in a way of like, when I, you put drugs in front of me, does I take all of it? because that was just my mindset. I'm like, okay, let's have a good time. I'm not living for tomorrow, I'm living for right now. And even though I live like that now, it's more of like in present what's going on instead of trying to escape my reality.